Hello and welcome. Let's talk about secondary hemorrhage. So what does it mean by secondary hemorrhage? It is the hemorrhage that occurs after 7 to 14 days of primary hemorrhage due to infection. It is caused by slowing of the wall of a vessel. Pathophysiology of secondary hemorrhage. Secondary hemorrhage is due to slowing of the wall of a vessel. It usually occurs 7 to 14 days after injury and is precipitated by factors such as infection, pressure, necrosis or malignancy. Causes of the secondary hemorrhage. With example. Infection as in erosion of the carotid artery by cancer, pressure by drain or bone as in hemorrhoidectomy, malignancy as in inguinal block dissection, operation where secondary hemorrhage is prone to occur is hemorrhoidectomy. Diagnosis One hemorrhage, bright red stains on dressing followed by a sudden severe hemorrhage, patient becomes anemic, prostate is increased, hypotension, temperature is raised, urinary output is reduced, patient may be toxic and restless. And the estimation of the hemoglobin percentage, hematocrit and ESR. Detection of secondary hemorrhage. It can be detected by soaking of the dressing over the wound by bright red blood 5 to 6 days after trauma known as 1E hemorrhage. 1E hematomesis may occur in case of peptic ulcer. Treatment. Prevention of the further blood loss by pressure and pack, positioning of the patient, complete bed rest, operative techniques like clamping and ligation, coagulation by diathermy, slurring agent, sponge strain. And restoration of the blood volume by blood transfusion, crystallized lowered solution, and control of the infection by appropriate antibiotics. End of the topic.